Hi. <laughs> How are you? How is everyone? Hi. Hi, how are you today? Tonight, sorry. All good? Everything All great? good. It's raining. It's raining, raining. Mm -hmm. You know that song? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I think it's by Rihanna, if I'm not wrong. Okay, um, we're about to finish the module. Let's see if we can finish that tonight so that we tomorrow we can have fun, talk about topics, review things you had difficulties with. Let's see how we go about that. Let me check here. One sec. Not yours here. Have you accessed the platform? Have you finished? Are you about to? How is that going? Up to date. Up to date, Eduardo, Paul. Um, Are you behind? Finished yet. Haven't finished? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think. Yep. Um, make sure you finish this week, and especially I would like you to take the midterm tomorrow or on Thursday before class so that we check on the answers. So I don't want to just do it for you, you know, I would like you to at least try before class and see how you do and then just double check the answers with me. Can we do that, please? Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay. Read the objective, Paul. No, we don't hear you. Oh, we can't hear you. So, Eduardo. Oh, okay. Okay, in this session, you will develop, develop the skill in listening for main ideas. Eh, develop skills in listening. Develop. Alexandra, can you hear me? What happened with your classmate, with your coworker? Do you have any idea? I don't hear her sentence. I'll ask her later. All right, let's do this. By attendant and teacher song. We'll see what their professions are. Let's listen. So we are working on section 5.8. I'll play the audio for you. Choose the answers. Let me know at the end, okay? Listening, job hunting, part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though, maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country, but that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Three, Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular nine to five job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies, but I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. 
Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Do you have the answers or do you want to listen again? Uh, the answers. I would will, I, I will like to hear All right. listen again. These questions. Mm -hmm. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well. I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. So, number one, Bill, what kind of job should he get? I could, it could be flight, flight attendant. That is flight, flight attendant. Yeah. Flight attendant, very good. Shannon. Doctor. She should be a doctor. And Ben? Model. Model, the model. Okay. The, that is right. Very good. Let's continue. So, read the objective, please. Carla Chan. Carla Chan. Okay. I'm here. Sorry. At the end of this class, participants will learn adjectives for describing personality traits. For describing? Describing. Personality traits, okay. Let's listen, guys, uh, take your notebooks out so that you can write down the vocabulary because we're gonna practice it later, okay? Let's do it. Okay. Hello, which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Listen and repeat. Bad-tempered. Creative. Critical. Disorganized. Efficient. Forgetful. Generous. Hardworking. Impatient. Level-headed. Moody. Punctual. Reliable. Strict. Now get ready to listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. Listen to four conversations. Then check the... Before we do that, we're going to classify them. Okay, so we're going to write P if it's positive and if it's negative. Okay. Let's do that. Can you take a screenshot of this and then decide if this is what we're going to do. We're going to decide if it's negative, positive, and then say why. All right. Take a screenshot. Can you send it to your group, please? Carla, maybe someone. Reliable. Strict. Now get ready to. First, let's check the pronunciation. Everybody read this. Everybody, 
How do you pronounce it? By bad tempered. Bad tempered. Okay, unmute the microphones, everyone, at the same time. One, two, three. Bad tempered. Second one. Tempered. Second one. One, two, three. Creative. Uh -huh. That comes from the word create. So you say creative. Creative. Right. Next. Critical. Critical. Mm -hmm. Critical. Listen. No, this is disorganized. 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 Yeah, perfect. So if you want to pronounce this E, you have to make this Z and then a Z, right? Wow. <laughs> that doesn't look like a Z D. All right, disorganized. What about this? Efficient. No, it's efficient. 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 Mm -hmm. Efficient. Efficient. Next. Forgetful. Everyone. Carla, Roberto, let's read. Forgetful. 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 Generous. Hardworking. 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 Impatient. Mm -hmm. Patient. Level headed. No, this is level. Level headed. Level headed. Level -headed. Yes. Moody. Moody. Functional. No, it's just functional. 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 Right. Functional. Functional. This one? Reliable. Uh, reliable. 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 Finally. Strict. Strict. Uh -huh. So level, what's the meaning of level headed? I don't know. I was going to ask for that. You're going to ask me that question. All right. It's someone who is sensitive. Sensitive to other people's feelings. Let me see. And it says that they are calm even in difficult situations. So it means also to be calm in difficult situations. I like this definition better than than sensitive. Because you keep your head level right no matter what is going on. And what about moody? What's the meaning? What's the meaning of moody? Anybody know? No. No. Okay, moody is that you change one moment you're sad, then happy, then angry, then sad again, then excited, depressed. That's moody. All right, now let's decide and explain why you think it's positive or negative. Ready? Okay. All right, let's do it. We're gonna work in groups in pairs. Let's work in pairs. Accept the invitation, please. Here we go. Can you hear Alexander? Excuse me? Can you hear Alexandra? No. Alexandra. She's 
I only have any issues. Um, I'm going to send you with Carla Molina, Robert. Okay, accept the new invitation. There it is. And Alexandra, I'm going to move you in case you're listening. Well, listen to what they're doing, okay? A little good point. Exactly, because you can be a, cri a critical person, which is in a positive way when you ask everything or you... Everything is positive. Strict. I don't know what... Strict. I think, I think, uh, I think it's, it's positive. A strict, a strict is positive. Yeah. Okay. So depends. depends how you apply it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And well, it's organized. It's organized. It's organized. negative. Yeah, it's totally negative. negative. Yeah, I, I don't like don't the people. I, don't can, I can handle with disorganized people. I hate uh, it. And me too. Because because <laughs> if, I, if I have my space disorganized, I think my mind is in the, is in the same state. 
I feel anxious with this. Thank God. Yes. Thank God because we are taking the pledge online. <laughs> Thank God you're not in my house. <laughs> Okay, no, but feel free to express your opinion, Alexandra and Carla Chang, although it was but, disorganized. On the other hand, I, I can do <laughs> a lot of my, my job. It's ah. at my point. Yeah, that's right. You're right. You know, I am a little disorganized in my house, but at work, I'm very organized. So, but I guess it depends. You're organized in both, right? Uh -huh. or, or I am organi disorganized, disorganized in my way, uh, but in my disorder. You, no. you found your organized in your disorganized. Uh -huh. yeah. Now I have a friend who says that and I understand what that means. Uh -huh. That it looks disorganized, but you know exactly where everything is and why. Uh -huh. Right? Uh-huh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I know I have a friend who is like that. Well in my case I totally organize it in my personal life and in my work because that is my personality. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but why does it bother you, Carla? Why is it that you can't stand people who are disorganized? Sorry, I don't, don't hear you. Why is it that you can't stand people who aren't organized? I don't know. Um, uh, I, 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 I like. I, um, I feel anxiety, anxiety, anxiety when the people touch my things or mm -hmm. I do. I I put my 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 things in this place or in this side and you can find when them. when uh yes when when i go and i don't find you uh -huh, i'm i'm angry <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> yeah but it takes a while for disorganized people to go to your place and do something mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. okay. it's not so general let's go back okay okay, okay. Guys, this course is from 8 to 9, right? Or no, 9 to 10. No, 9 to 10. 9 to 10, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. For you, it's like morning already. It's midnight, right? Yeah, it's midnight. No, and the problem is that after this class, I have another class. <laughs> oh my God, you see. Like, when when, when time do you sleep? sleep? When yeah. do you sleep? You no, know, that's the thing. I'm gonna quit one of my jobs because I can't do it. I have classes okay until 11 p.m. El Salvador, and I start another class at 8 a.m. El Salvador. Oh, no, sorry, 5 oh. a.m. El Salvador. 5 a.m. No. 5 a.m. Yes. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like after class. Imagine you had another one, and then you have classes again at five. It's horrible. I can't no. sleep like this. That's why you I'm a, I'm a like walking hour. Like, man. No way. <laughs> Surviving. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I sleep like three hours and a half or four, and then one hour, and then another hour later. <laughs> so it's <laughs> <the best. laughs> No, but I will quit one of my jobs. That's this is not healthy for your no, mental please. health. It will be yeah, great. I would like to be your friend. <laughs> Sorry. I would like to be your friend, so you will buy me the hamburger. <laughs> oh, because of the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but the reason why I'm asking you is because it's a regular time. So I, that means I will still finish at ten, even if we switch to the other. A, the other type of class, right? And then the early classes start at 7 a.m. in Salvador, I think. So it's not 5 a.m. So I can do it. I think I can do it. I'll be fine. That's why I was asking you. 10 p.m. almost. It's late, guys, even for you. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Read the objective, please, Carla. Carla, 
Molina, you. <laughs> I <Okay>. decided. <laughs> By the end of this session, you will learn and understand clauses with the cause. Uh huh. Very good. Let's watch. Get the notebooks out, take notes so that we can practice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We were supposed to do a listening exercise from this video. We're going to do that. Because I paused it in between here. I have a question. Each person. Go ahead. Go ahead, Eduardo. No. I don't know. That's You're breaking up. Reliable. The meaning of reliable. Yeah. Reliable is not only a person, but I can say my internet is reliable, so it's not going to fail. It's reliable. Okay. Okay. Or a person who is not going to fail, who you can rely, you can rely on, meaning you can count on them, you can trust them. That's reliable. Is that clear? Good. Listen and exercise. All right. Write down your answers. Listen to four conversations. Then check the adjective that best describes each person. One, a boss. How do you like your new boss? He's okay. I just wish she'd learn to lighten up a little. What do you mean? Oh, she never enjoys a joke. She never laughs. It's hard to even get a smile out of her. Two, a coworker. Look what Mary gave me. Isn't this a great book? Yeah, it is. Mary's so sweet. She's always giving her friends and coworkers presents. I wish there were more people like her in this world. Three, a teacher. What do you think of the new French teacher? Well, she's kind of strange. She's in a good mood one minute and in a terrible mood the next. Four, a relative. Hey, what's wrong? I'm fed up with my brother. It seems as if he's always angry at me about something. Really? Yeah, he gets upset so easily. I don't know what's the matter with him. Okay. I wish there were more. How can we describe this boss? Serious. You want the boss? Mm -hmm. Okay, a co-worker. Generous. 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 A teacher. Moody. Moody. Have you ever had a moody teacher, guys, in the university? Yes. <laughs> yes. In high school. Yeah. My, my it was mom, a crazy woman. <laughs> <laughs> Eduardo has a girlfriend, a moody girlfriend. <laughs> my best samples. Okay, but what about in the university? Uh, well, I have it once. Really? Where did mm -hmm. you study? But, uh, Where did, did I study? Hmm? It, Universidad Tecnológica del Salvador. Mm. Yeah, because uh -huh. you know, in that. other universities, they will probably be fired if they're moody. <laughs> yeah, this woman is really crazy. How did she act? Well, in one minute, she was like a friendly person, and then she was a really bad tempered person. Wow. Well, in the same class. I, well, sorry? In, in one same class. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. She was crazy. She was a psychologist. So <gasps> there is worse because <laughs> can you imagine? That? Because they have. Uh -huh. Yeah, that reminds me, Alexandra. Here, exactly, my psychology, uh, my psychology teacher. Mm -hmm. She was also crazy. That's right. <laughs> she was mostly so the people that studied psychology. 
they trying to resolve their problems, oh. I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, she was terrible. She was yeah. so upset at life and I don't know, something was wrong. Okay, a relative. Bad tempered. Bad tempered, very good. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> No, you should study psychology both. because of other reasons, not because you want therapy. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, now let's watch the other video and here we're gonna take notes. Okay. Let's do that. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist or and make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now, tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor, or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay, we're going to practice two things for your own sake, okay? We're going to do it like this. Um, there is a very common mistake. For example, people say, look at this, people say, I would be a bad teacher. <laughs> I would be a bad teacher for my impatience. Like this. Is this correct? Is this no. right? No. Why not? No. no. I wouldn't it's be a good teacher. It's the same, it doesn't matter, but what is wrong with this? There's a mistake. Oh. You using for instead because? Mm. Could be. Okay, so you wanna say it like this? Because of my intent. Like that? Mm. For doesn't express, doesn't express the cause. Uh -huh. For doesn't express the cause, very good. But this is? almost right it's still incorrect mm. and why is that bad, i could be a bad teacher all right this is right i'm gonna tell you guys it will not make you suffer don't worry okay <laughs> so it's because of because of my impatience. Because mm -hmm. of my impatience. So the thing is that you didn't know right now what to we use, can, and we therefore can, we can draw. Okay. Yeah, the thing is that this is a noun. We're not saying in the example you can see in the video you can see because I am impatient, and this is what you guys use. But what if you want to say a noun? Then you need to learn that you have to use because of when you don't have a subject but you have a noun because I am impatient. <laughs> Guys, I hear children playing. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> you were caught. 
All right, so I need you to practice both because this is very important and everybody goes in life making this mistake for some reason. So we're gonna practice a good journalist. You can make it affirmative or negative based on your personal answer. For instance, Carla Chan, do you think that you would make a good, that you could be a, a teacher? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna say I could be a teacher because but I want you to say the two of them because I am. If I couldn't afford to fix it, I am I because very I am patient or because of my patience. I, I want you to practice both. Okay. okay, so you get used to that. All right, then we're gonna discuss a good journalist, and you say I would not make a good journalist or I would make a good journalist, depending on what how you feel. All right, we're gonna discuss all of these. I also want you to practice because of and put a noun, not a subject. So like this, this is a noun, my patient. Good, a good. All right. And somebody's speaking English. Somebody's in another class. I can hear that. <laughs> is that in your house, Alexandra? No, it's not here. It's me. It's my husband. <laughs> It's in, it's in English class and another model. Oh, but he's using English corporativo? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was making me confused. I didn't that know. That is the big deal, right? <laughs> it's behind me. So I, with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was making I, me confused. I, I, <laughs> I thought somebody had a question. <laughs> no. All right. So let's practice this. We're also gonna discuss whether you would be or you would make a good actor. Okay, and there were other questions. Let me see them. Example, so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher. All right, and singer. So the ones in the example, actor and singer. I will help okay. you with one, okay. Paul, would you make a good singer? Yes or no? I think yes. Oh, really? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Oh, but say, make the because, thing. Because, be I would. Be because I like to make a uh, performance. Uh -huh. No, but let's try to follow the structure. I will make. I will make a good singer mm -hmm. because yep i like to make performance performances okay performances. So i also need you to say because of so here we need a noun how can we do that guys i need a noun because of my voice Exactly, because of my, not my voice, but because of my, my voice. voice. My voice. Voice. All right. Voice. Maybe you, because of your voice, you could be a singer. We don't know, maybe. But anyway, <laughs> like because of my <laughs> voice. All right, let's do the two of them. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So take a screenshot of this, please. We're going to answer all of these and let's include actor and singer in one of your own. Think of another one. All right, ready? Ready. We're gonna practice in groups of three. Uh, yep. three two, eight. One second. Three, four. Weird. Two groups. All right, exit the invitation, please. Here it is. Let's get working. Let's practice. So basically, the example are singer and actor, right? No, in the ones on the on the structure. So journalist, teacher, stock broker, uh, teacher, stock and singer, and singer. Okay, yeah, all of those. 
Okay. Who start? Start. Let's start. Uh, the word because introduces a cause of, or reason. I make a good journalist because I'm a good writing. I make a good journalist because of my new ideas. Paul, your next. I could be a teacher because uh, I am good to uh, teach. No, I think we uh, saw that in class, right? I'm good at teaching. Yeah, we saw I'm that good. good at and then ing. I'm good at uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. That's how you express it. Uh, but I would like everybody to answer this question. So journalist. Paul, what about being a journalist? Eduardo? So everybody answer I, the same one and then move on to teacher, okay? I made a good journalist because I am good redacting. Good at Good at good. No, it's I don't think it's redact. Let me think. Maybe good at writing. But okay, you can also say because of try try both ways, guys, to practice. Because of? Mm -hmm. And then a noun. I'm not good. Because of what? Paul? Because I am a good investigator. No, yeah, yeah, guys, but I need you to practice both, right? Because I am good, you're using the, the, the subject, I am. But I also want the noun. Okay? So you're going to say, good. por mi escritura, and instead of saying, porque yo, tal cosa, right? I need the noun. So how do you say that? Because of, I am. No, because of my writing. My writing. All oh, right, because of my writing or my speaking. You can say redaction, actually, but it's not so common. Because of my redaction. Of my looking. Uh huh. Yeah, that too. You can say that. All right, practice both. Okay. It's like corredor de gol de valores in yep. Spanish. Oh, okay. You could you could work in Wall Street. For example, mm -hmm. well, I can say I wouldn't be a stockbroker because of my lack of abilities in math or numbers. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I could never be a stockbroker because I'm not living in USA. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> yes. Okay, which word we can use? We use, which are ready to use an actor, singer, teacher, journalist, and a still worker. Mm -hmm. I think yes. we are done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, discuss precedent. I want to hear the conjugations you're making. Discuss both, right? With with the verb, I mean with the subject and with the noun. None. Mm -hmm. None. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, in my case, I could be a teacher because no, a I am very. Right. Sorry? A president. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Oh. I could be a president because I am very. <laughs> I can lie, right? I can lie. <laughs> right? <laughs> because I can lie. All right, now you because of. Because of. No, I am. I asked him to you if I can lie in this exercise. Oh, no, no. Yes, sure. You shouldn't. It, it has to be 
okay. You have to be real. I could be a president because I am very communicative. Uh -huh, so you think you could be a president, Alexander? You really think so? Mm, no. So in that case, <laughs> I don't think okay. I should not be. So yeah, I could not. Oh, I can say I wouldn't want to be a president because I'm a very loyal and a very trust person. Trustworthy. And how do you use that with the noun? Because of Okay, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be a teacher because of my my value my personal values. Uh-huh. A president, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you said <A> teacher. <laughs> I'm so sorry oh because I got, <laughs> got <laughs> no, I, no, I got confused. So I'm sorry. <laughs> no, so sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I was read the image. Sorry. I know, I know. You got confused. <laughs> I'm going to be a mute. <laughs> Let's, go Let's go back. All right, Alexandra, I was asking you earlier if you knew what happened with your colleague. No, I don't know about Fernando because we work in different areas. Oh, okay. So but tomorrow here. I I can I would <laughs> sorry. Okay. Yeah. But you can ask him. I will ask him. Mm -hmm. and no so, worries. Yeah. He has to complete the the platform anyway. No mm -hmm. matter what. To be in the next model. Right. No. To mm -hmm. be to be taken into account because if you drop out like that, guys, if you don't finish things, then you're not accepted any longer in the future. You have to find okay. a different place. So it's very serious. But yeah. Let him know, please. All right, okay. and number one, Roberto. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like hospital. Okay, <laughs> that's a good reason, right? You definitely <laughs> not be a nurse. Especially like right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, Carla Chan. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like to be a novelist because I love creative writing. I love creative writing. Mm -mm, yeah, very good. Three, Paul. I could never be an accountant because I am terrible with numbers. <laughs> I'm terrible. Terrible with numbers. Very good. And last one, Noe. I would make a bad waiter because I have a terrible memory. <laughs> You'll be going back and forth. <laughs> Sorry, what's your order? Sorry, is this a drink? <laughs> I could be a flight attendant. Okay. Uh, Eduardo. You're on mute, Eduardo. Really enjoy traveling. Okay, traveling. Check. And we did a great job. Good job, mm -hmm. team. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I think this is I the last part. The I think I think the the mm -hmm. midterm well the last the final exam is the uh... yeah right yes okay it's time for the final exam so here's what we're gonna do uh, on Thursday you yes, need to yes, have yes, completed yes. the midterm I mean the final exam before class so mm -hmm. you're just gonna give me the answers that day. All right, make sure you pass it. That's it. Tomorrow, 
what I'm gonna do is I will plan some practice for you to practice all the topics we have done through speaking, okay? And we're gonna try to have fun as well. But if there if there are any topics, go back in the platform. All right, go back and see if there's mm -hmm. a topic that you would like me to reinforce so we can practice more or study it more. And if there isn't any topic you would like to review, then we're just gonna practice. So it's up to you, but send me that before class. You can send it tonight or tomorrow morning. It doesn't matter. If you wanna give suggestions, okay? But we do okay. have classes, don't be absent. So yeah, it's still a class, okay? <laughs> Any questions? Okay. No. 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 Oh, good. Alrighty. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Thank you for joining. Thank you. you. Have Bye. a good night, guys. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> sleep if you can. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> sleep as you can. Yeah. Not me, though. If you can. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>